Yo, what's up? Welcome to Simp Seminars. Obviously, it's facetious. Um, but we have an interesting topic today, a spicy one. I'll give you guys a few minutes to get in here. Smash that like button if you're watching this a little later. We'll start a little later in the stream. I don't know when. Just fast forward a little bit when we see some comments coming up. But if no one comes, then we'll go ahead and just uh, literally no one comes. We'll talk about that here in a second. We'll go ahead and get to the topic at hand. So good to see you guys on a beautiful Thursday evening down here in Southern California. Here's the thing. You know, I, I want to leave California because of the uh, the tax laws and people say, you know, the idealisms, the ideals here, you could say the ideas here and, and then the politics. But honestly, if you just mind your business, it's not that fucking big of a deal. And San Diego has the best weather of anywhere in the world. Don't fucking at me. It's like uh, even like the, the gloomy months are not that bad. Right. So California is not as bad as everyone makes it out to be. So how are you guys doing? Hope you're doing as good as me. What's up, DJ? How you doing? So the topic is, of course, uh, is sex important? Does it matter? And if it does matter, how do I become better at it? Right? Because some people are born iron cocks, can't nut for the for the life of them. Some people need some help. And I think it's most men who need help. But there's a few things that I've learned through the years that really helped me. And I'm gonna go over those things with you and kind of give you some like uh, theories and like explanations on what exactly is going on. All good, DJ. I know I appreciate it, DJ. I know you're catching this third stream of the day. It's my third stream fucking of today. So two two crypto streams and then this one. So I have to say this is like my favorite channel when it comes to hanging out. I can literally talk for an hour straight. Okay. And then my um, next stream is going to be on how to say debts properly. And um, I'll go over some examples of a chick. I, I'll go over some examples of people who I try to set a date with and didn't work out so well. And then I'll go and, and those women have low attraction. And then I'll go over uh, some examples of women who have high attraction, how they act and how, what's the difference, right? Because a lot of guys waste times, waste their time dealing with women <clears throat> that are not really that into them. Okay. So the topic is, is sex important? It doesn't matter. A fucking course it matters. Anyone who tells you it doesn't matter is ridiculous. Now, is it the biggest part of a relationship when it comes to time? No, obviously it's not, right? Obviously it's not. Is it the most important thing that women look for for a long-term partner? No, it's not. That's, of course, the ability to break bread. They'll literally marry a guy who is a fucking square bear, put up with that shit because maybe he's secure, maybe he, other parts of his life are together. And this is why you'll see like a lot of girls get dicked down by a guy, but never really commit to that guy because he doesn't have the other qualities she's looking for, right? Maybe he can lay pipe, but maybe he can't hold it down in other parts of his life, right? So it's, it's it, obviously it's important to make sure you're, be, you're good at all the different dimensions of that, right? Of dimensions of just being a man. Um, okay, so obviously, dude, women are more way more complicated than fucking men, right? We can literally bust... Some of you guys bust just fucking thinking about it, right? So it, it's easy for us, right, to get off. But uh, uh, women are very, very complicated. They're all different, right? Now, <clears throat> you know, they, women have many different kind of orgasms, right? Pen, uh, orgasm from penetration, orgasm from uh, clitoris stimulation, right? Obviously, there's a, a ton of toys for women, right? Toys are superior, but obviously a, a toy can't slap them, throw them around, you know, choke them and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Can't do all that stuff. Um, toys can't really do that stuff, right? Now, when it comes to sex, like, here's the thing. Casual sex is interesting. It, it, it's weird because a lot of women never, ever come when it comes to casual sex. Like, it, maybe they lie to you. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. Who knows? But a lot of women, you know, there's a bunch of studies on this that don't come during casual sex. And that's because women are different. They're complicated, right? And it's not like us. We're easy to make to bust, right? We can bust every single time, right? It's rare for us to have sex and not bust unless you're, like, taking Molly or some shit that numbs you, right? Um, so casual sex is a little weird because you don't know that pussy, right? But if it's your girlfriend or your wife, you understand her, right? And that's why it's so important in relationships to communicate what you like, what gets you off, what doesn't get you off. Some women like when you just eat their pussy, right? And that makes them come if they tell you to do it the right way. You know, some women like penetration and a toy, some all different. Some women just come because of penetration, right? It's all different right women are all different and that's why when you're in a relationship it's easy to lay pipe um it's easy to lay pipe because you know exactly what to do right because they express that to you right when you have a girlfriend it's easy to make her come because like you know exactly what gets her off right all women are different right um and some women are less honest than others right some women i mean i've dated women who um you know have openly said like i need my clit to be played with for me to come that's just how i always come some women say, no, I just come from penetration, right? So they're all different, right? All women are different. 
Um, but it's good for her. It's good for you guys to establish something where you're open and honest with each other. So you know how to please your woman, like just be tell her to be honest, right? It, it, it's your job to please each other, like relationships, you go there to give. So whatever your thing is, your job is to help your partner out and vice versa. You know, if you like fucking blowjobs and you like getting blowjobs, you know, then she, she needs to do that. And if she's doing something wrong, you know, correct her in a nice way. Same thing with chicks and guys. You know, I like this to do, you know, I like when you do this to me this way, right? If they have some sort of kink or something like that, let your freak flag fly, baby. Tell your partner about your kink. Like life is too short for you to be with someone who is not going to be able to explore you sexually. Yes, sex when it comes to time is a small, important relationship. When you think of all the hours in the day, what's up, bud? What's up, Mr. J-Wave? What's up, all those uh, racket club? What's up, babies? When it comes to time, but in the grand scheme of things, it's really important because you want to please your partner sexually. They say that healthy couples have sex at least twice, preferably three times a week. Right. So 12 times a month, something like that. Right. 12. Uh, what is it? Eight to 12 times a month is like a healthy, you know, healthy way. Right. OK. So uh, oral and other things are important for women. Guys, we can just come. Like I said, the, the wind can brush your pants when you guys are the wrong way and you guys can bust a nut. Right. Oral. Oral is important. And with women, it is mindset. Right. Getting that pussy wet, getting her in the mood. Right. Whatever it is. Right. I mean, different things turn different women on. Right. But it's about a mindset with women and oral and heating her up. Right. You don't just fucking jam that bitch in there. You know what I mean? You just you don't just jam it in there. Right. You have to do things like oral. So important. Now, it's different when it's casual sex. Right. Because obviously, I mean, some of y'all will. And you know, I'm not saying I haven't, but you shouldn't go down on strangers just because you don't want to get shit in your throat and your mouth and stuff like that. But if you're drunk, you're in the moment, whatever. Right? I get it. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys have been out on dates with chicks and they blow they blew you or something like that, right? But oral is so important with sex. Sex is not just penetration. I mean, sex, that could even be a small part of the, you know, the the pie, I guess, when you're talking about just having a session of, a, of an hour or something like that, right? So maybe you start off with like some romance, maybe some music, maybe some touching, some kissing, you know? So, you know what I mean? Some little playful banter, you guys alone, lights dimmed. I, I know you guys see my living room set up, you know? Lights dimmed, all that good stuff, right? Talking dirty, those, you know, uh, building up the anticipation, right? Then it gets to, you know, touching and then clothes come off and then, or, you know, use your hands and stuff like that. You know, you're, 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 you're licking her titties, you're biting her titties, all that good stuff, right? You're getting her in the mood. And then sex happens, you know what I mean? All those sorts of things. And that could take 30 minutes. I could take an hour, right? Depends. So it, you have to work up to it, right? A lot of guys like literally sit there and just fucking ugh, go for it right away. It's like, relax, man, fucking relax, you know? And look, here's the thing. A lot of women get invited. Let me go to my phone on vibrate. But a lot of women like will go back to your place and won't sleep to a, with a guy because a guy doesn't know how to like take two steps forward and one step back. What does that mean? When you're fucking making out and things are getting hot and heavy and you start sucking her titty, and she goes, no, like, ah, I am playful. You know, just take a step back, you know, relax a little bit. Don't get all butthurt and mad or don't act like that's it. Play around, drink a little bit more. You know what I mean? Just hang out a little bit more, you know, just get a little more flirty and then go for it again. And if she says no a bunch of times, then obviously no means no, right? Obviously, if you if, if you ever seen that Bill Burr skip, you know, no, like, oh, my God, stop it. You're being bad. Like that, that kind of no is different, right? But if you read that transcript in a court, get your ass in trouble, right? But obviously there's different no's. Like, oh my God, you're so bad. Or I usually don't do this, but yeah, sure. The, the truth is a lot of women do not feel, uh, excuse me, don't want to be perceived as a hoe. And they sleep with you on the first date for whatever reason. They think you're going to perceive that, right? Uh, Jay has his dick out in the first five minutes, probably, right? <laughs> it's not a race lad. Now it's different with someone you're just seeing, right? Okay, so it's all about a mindset with women getting them in the mood. Like obviously, if it's casual sex, you're not going to make uh, a, a chick you just met come every time. Maybe. I mean, it's, it happens, right? But usually it's easier to make women come when you know what they want and those sorts of things, right? Um, like I said before, if it's a significant other or a wife, learn, try to please your significant other, do things for them. Let your freak flag fly, baby. If she likes being choked out, choke her. If she likes being slapped around, slap her around. You know, if she likes when you tie her up or something like that, Subri. You know, uh, you know, do those sorts of things because literally... Literally, um, uh, you know, uh, it, it, like relationships are about giving, you know, you, you got to go to give and vice versa, man and woman. Okay. So I'll talk about how to get better at sex for men here in a second. Now, here's one. Okay. Here's one thing that gets a lot of men pornography, right? Pornography, you know, casual hookups, uh, anxiety, stimulants, 
and, 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 and alcohol, like drugs and alcohol. Listen, if you're doing a bunch of blow or doing Addy or an Adderall and stuff like that, chances are you're not going to get a fucking erection. I know, right? Some stimulants affect people a little differently. If you're getting absolutely shit can, there's a reason why they call it whiskey dick, right? If you're awkward, you've never been around a fucking chick before, or maybe you haven't had a bunch of sexual experience, there are there's performance anxieties. When I tell you guys the burden of proof for men in relationships, right, to improvise, adapt, overcome, that no one really cares about a man's struggles. Like this is all like, this is all like, you know, no, like that's what embodies a man. Like it's your job to perform at all aspects of life. Like sex, your job is to perform, to get hard and to penetrate, right? That's what men do, right? We're stoic, we're the mountain. Women are mother nature, sporadic, ever-changing. You know what I mean? Feminine, masculine energy. So sometimes some things can inhibit that. Like now, it's different if you know the person, you're comfortable with that person, it's easy to get an erection, right? And if you're with your wife or, or your girlfriend, and, and, and a lot of guys think it's a, a, a physical problem when it could be an attraction problem, uh, could be a diet problem. As you get older, you know, as you get older, like it becomes harder and harder for as a man to obviously maintain a lot of testosterone. Your testosterone goes goes down after 30. But if you don't exercise regularly, if you don't eat good foods, like it's harder to have more testosterone. And obviously, if you have more testosterone in your body, right, it's going to be easy for you to get an erection and those sorts of things, right? Um, sometimes, you know, we're just tired. You know what I mean? We're just tired. You know what I mean? But if you put your mouth on it, you know what I mean? I mean, we're not going to complain, right? But stimulants drunk sex, performance anxiety, those are all things that can really inhibit how you perform, right? Obviously, you can't get it up. And look it, if you're in a sexual situation and you can't get it up, don't give up. Don't give up. Try. I you know, we all been there done that got the teacher. You got to try, right? You got to try. You know, I always use lube is always should always use lube in my opinion. I think like even if she's like super wet, it's always good to use lube in my opinion. It's fun. It's, it's more fun that way. You know, slap it on, baby. If, uh, you know, you're having a problem getting it up, throw her back on her couch, spread her fucking legs, get some lube, play with her pussy, and just try to get that bitch up, you know? If it's if it's someone you're comfortable with, go down on her, rev that bitch up, baby. Smack that baby into, uh, you know, get that, get that baby in, you know? And relax, you know, relax. And let the blood flow, you know what I mean? The reason why stimulants fuck you up is because they tighten your blood vessels, right? So, you know try to get that baby going. Don't give up. Like at least try to get hard. Even if you're going to fucking put it in for a little bit and you bust, at least you get, you, you got there, you know? So just try, never quit. Just try. Okay. Now let's talk about pornography because this is a, a, a big thing that plagues a lot of men, especially younger men, because I'm 32. And when I was growing up and we'll talk about two pump chump here in a second, right? Uh, when I was growing up, um, it was so hard to come across porn. Like literally there was this magazine behind a old, uh, old apartment I used to live in that had, was like a porn mag that I only knew was there. And I would like rip a page out of it every so often, go in the bathroom, wank that shit to like the same still picture, crumple it up, throw them the toilet, flush it. That's how I used to beat off. Right now you can go on your phone and say, I want 10 midges banging a black guy. And I guarantee you, you will find 10 midges banging a, like anything you want on your phone, which is dangerous for young men. Why is that dangerous for young men? Because that's not what sex is. Sex is not opening your phone, searching up 10 midgets, banging a guy and, and whacking off to it. You know, it's not opening up your phone, finding the hottest redheads with the big booty and, and, uh, and, and, and beating your meat to it. That's not what sex is. Sex, like I said before, it's a slow dance, you build up and then you have sex, right? It's a whole night really of romance. And if it's your wife, you know, it's seeing your wife one day while, or your girlfriend one day while you're um, hanging out at your home and she's like bending over, like my ex-wife, dude. Literally, I would see her in some positions and be like, all right, you're fucking getting it right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, we'd be out of the bar, meet me in the bathroom. You know what I mean? Like stuff like that. Like that's that's how it is. You know, it's not like porn, you know? Um, so if you cannot handle porn or if you have a problem with porn, literally put it to the side. You know what I mean? <laughs> Rack women one morning warrior shirt have midgets. I want a Chinese midget. <laughs> I mean, hey, man, some people would bang some midgets. I mean, if they're bad enough, you know? Um, but, you know, uh, you, you know what I mean? Like um porn can really uh fuck people up because it's not, it's not how sex is right and it, and it really gives you like unreasonable beauty standards because dude not all women are like that if you're gonna watch porn just watch homemade porn watch like regular amateur porn with like regular bodies because the truth is not all of us are banging fucking porn star quality women and not all women are like porn stars they're not gonna do some crazy shit porn stars are doing not all women are like oh my god when you're fucking up some are some are crazy loud some are quiet 
you know, some are fucking medium, you know, some like are way more aggressive than others. Like women are different, right? All shapes and sizes. Some are fucking really loud. Some are like mildly loud. Some are aggressive and all up on you. Some are very timid and shy and reserved. It's all a little different, right? It's all a little different. So porn, if you can't handle porn, be careful. Okay. Um, so as a man, how do you get better at sex? Well, obviously repetition is the mother of skill. Shout out to Corey Wayne, right? And Corey Wayne taught me this too. One of these things. One thing you need to do is Kegels. So I like to do 300 five days a week. I'm actually been lazy on it lately, but 500, excuse me, 300 five days a week. Kegels is when you can track your pelvic floor. So when you're peeing and you're stopping your pee, think of that movement. When you're peeing and you stop your pee. Now you don't have to do it when you're peeing, but that's the motion. You squeeze your butt a little bit. You squeeze like your, you know, your your pelvic floor. It's like a muscle between your gooch, between your asshole and your ball sack. Like if you feel right there, we call that the devil's landing strip. That little spot down there, that's where your your pelvic floor is at, and it's a muscle, so you have to strengthen it. That'll help you last longer. That'll help you maintain harder erections, right? So that's important. So you had to strengthen that. 300 reps, you just go squeeze. I'm, I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it right now. And I'm talking. One, two, three. You know what I mean? Okay. So you don't want to overdo it, but 300 five days a week I think is good. And and then once you do it for like a couple weeks or a month or something like that, I'd say two weeks to a month, then you could do like three times a week. Just make sure you don't – It's like it's like any muscle. You got to keep training it. The next thing is the hardest part, and it's the most time-consuming part, in my opinion, because you can blaze through those Kegels in a few minutes, right? Maybe five minutes tops. Okay. You have to practice like you perform. If you want to last longer, you got to beat off longer. So a lot of guys whip their dick out, smack that shit for two minutes, and they're done. That's not sex, right? So what you should do, I wouldn't do it to porn. Some people do, but I, I advise against that, right, is you got to beat off for 30 minutes. Use fucking lube, right? Okay. During those 30 minutes, you got to come to climaxing six times. We call it edging. Don't do it. Six times. And this is three to five times a week. Now, what this is going to do, and you're welcome, is it's going to allow you to have multiple orgasms and last longer. What does that mean? You're going to be able to get close to nutting, right? Not really having the orgasm. You're going to be able to ejaculate and keep going. And if it's your girlfriend or your wife, that's awesome because that's natural lube, baby. That's like the best lube. If they could just sell bottles of fucking pre-cum, throw that shit in the bottle, you know, you know what I mean? I'd be the best loop. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's going to teach you how to do that. Um, but it's also going to teach you how to last longer. And it's going to teach you how to control um, your orgasm. So you'll be able to ejaculate a little bit, but you won't have an orgasm. You'll be able to get right to the point, stop, boom. And, and you'll be able to nut multiple times. Um, and then you can come when you want to come, right? Now, some people say semen retention. Uh, I don't think semen retention is smart. I mean, do what you want. Uh, but I think that you should be able to, I think you should be ejaculating like three times a week. I think that's fair. If you're fucking a lot, fine. If you're not, then make sure um, you at least try to get this in three times a week. And that's how you last longer. The Kegels and this, right? So that's my spiel on that. Hopefully that can help you guys. And then I'm going to be chatting with you guys. I see all your comments. Yeah, 30 minutes is a lot, dude. Yeah, 30 minutes, you got to get close to edging. I mean, Haley, if you don't want to do the fucking work, don't do the fucking work. I'm just telling you, man. Let me go back here and see if you guys are actually being serious or just joking. <laughs> Some seminars, baby. What's up? <laughs> uh, Miss NFT Queen says, we're really not that complicated. Y'all just too damn simple-minded. Well, Miss NFT Queen, complicated compared to men. What I mean is we got to just smack that shit and we bust. Like you, you're not going to make a chick penetrate from fucking unless you know how to fuck her and you're doing things. You're still in her mind a little bit, right? You're sitting there slant. Like some guy just fucking <laughs> like, yeah, that's okay, but you got to slow it down. I don't know if it's a black person thing, but like fucking just it's some rhythm, you know what I mean? You don't have to fuck like a jackrabbit, but yeah, women are just way more complicated than men. Not complicated, but more complicated than men. Mr. J. says, damn, Rodney can't make a girl come. Shit. <clears throat> some just want to use their rose. Yeah, I mean, women, look, if you, okay, first of all, another thing you should do is go to a sex store with a significant other. Like, unfortunately, my ex wasn't really big into that sort of thing. So we went to a sex store, but she just wasn't into porn or any of that stuff. I would, she let, I'd fuck her all the time, but she just wasn't into that sort of stuff. Some, some chicks are freaks and love, and love that. I remember I went on a date in Portland with this chick. Um, and oh my, she was, 
little white babe, uh, colored hair, a redhead, uh, redhead, pale. I don't want to say her name here, but she was one of the biggest babes I met in Portland. I went to her place and uh, she had on her fucking chair in her room, like three fucking vibrators charging. Like, you know what I mean? Like some girls are freaks, man. Some are not. Some are, some are not. Can you get a woman to swallow? Been trying for years. That's if they want to. Some women like that shit. Some don't. I remember I, one of my girlfriends would, she would try to swallow, then she would gag. I've had girls just like gulp, like nothing. <laughs> so it all depends on them. Yeah. Don't give, don't mind giving a woman a bit of direction. Yeah. I love to eat pussy too. I'm a big box muncher. Love to eat pussy. I know a lot of black guys don't like eating pussy, but I like eating pussy. And if it's your chick, you should too. Of course, you got to shower first. Duh. I mean, if she's a little sweaty, it's just a little seasoning, you know? She's your chick. Yeah, it's not a race. It's not a race. <laughs> she's so ridiculous. Miss Empty Queen says, Miss Empty Queen says, it's a bit concerning that your target audience in the 30s and you're over here having to thumb down foreplay. Rodney out here making y'all rich and saving relationships. I'm trying, man. I mean, is any of the things I said wrong? You know, <laughs> you know, look, at I mean, we all have bad days. Like I told you guys a couple of weeks ago, I had this chick over that I really liked and I was doing Adderall and a bunch of blow that day watching one of the playoff games and she came over and dick was not working, but that's because I was doing blow and taking Adderall, <laughs> which I don't recommend anybody do, but I was doing that, you know, and fuck, <laughs> it's not the move. I mean, uh, you know, sometimes it doesn't work. I mean, sometimes it's a miracle too. I remember, uh, for New Year's, I was dating a chick, dude, I was rolling balls all day. And if you guys know something about like Molly and stuff like that, like, first of all, it's illegal. I'm not doing that. But if I was doing that stuff, um, you can't feel anything and you sure as hell can't come sometimes. And I was pounding like a jackhammer at one point, but I was able to do both. So you know, but that day with the adding in the in the the old uh, nose candy, I just couldn't get it up. There, it was there was no chance of me getting it up. It it did not. It actually shriveled up into my body a little bit. It was embarrassing, but I still ate her pussy. Uh, Jay says, but I'm sure she felt like not hot because a lot a lot of women take that like the wrong way. If a guy can't get it up, they think that maybe they're um you know, they maybe that um uh you know that uh they think that they're not hot or something like that i told her i was like hey man i was doing a bunch of blow today <laughs> you know jay says yo what's up everyone bro love this stuff no i i ain't no simp but alpha recognize alpha been following you since the start you're a solid dude i appreciate it man i mean when we think of like the traditional alpha male and stuff yeah i throw hands and i kick box and shit like that you know what i mean but you know i think an alpha male isn't some big fucking 400 pound bodybuilder who fucking does manly stuff all day it's just like let's be a man Stick up for yourself. Don't pedalize, pedestalize people. Have a fucking spine. Go after for what you, go after what you want and be unapologetically you. Agree that guy. I don't dive on strangers, but luckily there's another way to prime her up. Absolutely, baby. I actually like eating, so girls are gonna get their on. Yeah, there it is, baby. Let's go. So my first like actual high school girlfriend, like I remember I tried to go down on her one day, like after she was in like color guard <laughs> and I was in band. It's the chick I told you where I, I kind of stole her from a friend on MySpace, but I tried to go down on her one day and it was just bleh, nasty. So that was my first experience trying to eat pussy was her after her practice. So I learned the hard way. <laughs> I hate night working. I'm a morning plumber. Dude, sometimes bro. Woo, in the morning, I'm ready. But oil that butt up and go down, go to town, baby. Let go, bring out the freak, dude. I'm telling you, man, lube it up, bro. Get crazy with it, bro. Get an old blanket that you don't fucking care and just go go crazy with that shit, bro. You know, just it's fun. More the merrier. I like that. He says, "Yes, ladies, please. If you expect us to eat you out, make sure you're clean down there. Don't be coming over if you hit work. Yeah, some some girls are clueless, but usually older women know what's going on. At least." The women I'm dealing with. I, I, don't, I, can't, I, I can't remember the last time I was with a chick and um, it was great. Like early in my, in my early 20s, that was the last time that shit happened. But <laughs> Racket Club. Let me skip some of these. I gotta skip some of these because you guys are chatty. Jay says, I'm an early buster, but it's all in your head. I think I just make sure sh she is getting her goods and I have to. Yeah, I mean, you can last longer, right? Um, but it's hard sometimes because, like, especially if you're like not circumcised. 
And there's an argument to circumcision, circumcision against it. It's like when you're circumcised from a baby, it's like, you know, like you cut off like the really like sensitive parts of your dick, right? Like you cut that off. And so through years, like your dick's rubbing against like, um, um, you're, you're, it's rubbing against like your pants the entire time. And what's doing is it's killing the nerves, right? So like a guy who's not circumcised versus a guy who is circumcised, like you're going to be more sensitive if you're not circumcised to like any feeling down there. Um, and I mean, there's an argument whether it's natural, whether it's not, it doesn't matter. Like it doesn't, it really doesn't matter. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't matter. I mean, whatever your thing is, do your thing, but that is a, a true thing. So if you're not circumcised, like you could, you know, first of all, you have to take care of your dick a lot more, right? You have to make sure you clean it and shit like that. You know what I mean? If you're fucking raw and stuff, you got to make sure you're really adamant about cleaning your wean dog. Right. But if you know, you know, but you may be more sensitive and there's ways to last longer, but you have to practice and practice a lot. And sometimes it is mental. Like sometimes it is very, very mental. Like if you like a person who can't like a two pump chump and you're trying everything. So you, I, I don't think people are really trying everything. Maybe, maybe circumcisions for you, you know, but usually like if you express like and talk with your partner, like, damn, I need it. You know, I'm trying to get better. Let's practice on getting better. So when you're beating off, right? Like the 30 minutes, like I, I said, that helps you last longer. Try to have sex longer. Like if you're going to, if you're going to come tell your, like your wife or your girl, like, all right, two taps. And like, I'm going to bust. Let's rest for a little bit. You know, let's pause. Let's make out. Let's do other things. Let me go down on you for like a minute and then we'll get back to it. If you fucking like going to bust again, repeat the process. What I like, and this is kind of personal is like when I'm fucking right. And I feel like I'm going to bust. I just go really deep. I pause because there's no movement. Pause. If I'm on top, obviously. And then you make out and stuff like that, and, you know, sucker titties and shit like that. You know, I count the 10 in my head, you know, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, big, deep uh, breath in your belly. And it all goes away. And like, think about it when you're banging too. like, relax your body, like relax and focus on your breath. Like, you know, what really helps to like, some people say, think of like grandma knuckles and shit, like things that turn you off or do math. Math does work, but like, I don't know. I just don't want to be thinking about grandma knuckles and doing long division while I'm fucking right. What I do is I just count to 10 or I do this little thing where it's a game. So this is kind of personal too, but like it's, I call it the, you know, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 game. Start from one. You go one shallow stroke, one deep stroke. Two, you know, two shallow strokes, one deep stroke. Three, three, you know, you know what I mean? That helps you like get your mind off of it because you're counting and you're fucking. So hopefully that helps. I'm waiting for the future. No, I'm not fucking fucking a robot. I mean, you can, but I wouldn't be into that. I get the ladies done in 10 for both. So does Chris. Wait, Chris, what? Shit, you're going to swallow these kids. <laughs> I get what needs done in 10 for both parties. That can happen, bro. Long story, Miss NFT Queen, but it's a reserve. So we'll, we'll talk about that later. That's been an ongoing process. I mean, look at my, this, you think I can have a fucking mohawk with colored hair? Absolutely not. After she want to FaceTime. Okay, I'm going to have to like skip some of these comments. Well, actually, no, I'm, I'm close. Oof, dry hurts me too. It feels like it's ripping the sides in the way. Yeah, you got to fucking, got to make sure you fucking lube it up, right? Don't wear light colored boxers if you got pre cum issues. <laughs> Uh, I'm not, and I don't have any issues. Yeah, some people just don't have issues fucking. The thing is, like, I think the people that don't have issues fucking are, like, people that have have had sex for, like, a lot of their lives. Like, people, like, had sex in middle school and high school and, like, a lot in their 20s and never really had a problem getting laid. But that's not the case for a lot of men. It's just not. The, like I said, it's rare to find a woman who's had no sexual partners, right? Or little. She's had a few at least, right? Or maybe one, two, three. Uh, you know. It's it's common to find a man who has like one or two or maybe no sexual partner. It's very common. So, you know, if you're fucking for the first time or whatever, like, you know, it could be a weird situation for you. Like, you know, you're not you're not the same all the time, but <laughs> racket clubs, those are your moves. I mean, it's like basic stuff, you know, like, of course, like I was busting quick in my t and I wanted to learn. OK, I'm going to tell you guys a very embarrassing story that like sticks with me till this day. OK. And one of the main reasons why. I started to care about this sort of thing. Okay. So when I was in like my, my early twenties, right? I was dating this chick and my, 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 one of my good friends was dating her friend. Okay. So we're all in the same room fucking. Okay. I'm like 20 at this time, like 20 or 19. I forget. 
we're all fucking, right? He, we're not fucking each other, obviously. He's banging his chick. I'm banging my chick. Literally, I nut so quick with this chick. Like, I, I just go to pound town. I nut real quick. And she, I think she passes out, but I'm still awake, kind of. My buddy is, is fucking his chick for like an hour straight, just slaying that shit, like slow, just beating that shit up. Well, I nut in a second. So I'm sitting here like in the in the bed, like drunk as fuck, just laying awake while he's slaying her for an hour. And I'm sure my chick is awake too. Like, how embarrassing is that? You know what I mean? I was like, I gotta get better, bro. <laughs> this motherfucker straight killing it. Yeah, you know, how embarrassing is that, right? But it, it happened, you know. Jay says, not gonna lie, me and a female were vibing so hard one night. I legit got an old electric toothbrush. I pulled out and gave her a quick, yeah, dude. And even fucking ice cream pussy with a mint, bit of mint. Do you know what's crazy, Jay? Is that I think a lot of like like I was watching one commercial for like it was like some skincare product from like Nivea or something. Did it look like a fucking vibrator? Like you put it on your skin and it go brrr, it vibrates because it was like a little triangle. I'm like, that's a fucking vibrator masked as some sort of skincare product. You know what I mean? Because chicks usually start off with like the shower fucking spigot and any fucking object that looks like a dick, any kind of vibrating object, you know? Jack says, I do the same shit, but I bust when they squeeze. <laughs> yeah, I do sometimes, bro. Sometimes I remember uh, I was dating this chick who would just like, like I would stop and she would purposely like move her ass and shit. Like, you fucking, you know what I mean? Yeah, pop that bitch out one time. Hey, chill out. Uh, that guy says, when I'm down, I eat and make sure she's done before my nine second bull ride. <laughs> Ronnie does it, will pull out and go back to, yeah, exactly, man. Just pull out real quick. Yeah. Breathing into your stomach, big stomach breaths out, like, or try positions that don't make you nut. For some reason, when I stand up or I'm hitting a doggy, I can just go forever. Or if I'm on my back, forget about it. Fucking, if I'm on my back, bro, I can sit there, do my taxes, fucking, you know, do whatever you can. You know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, sometimes little tricks, right? When I'm on my fucking, if I'm on my fucking back or I'm like sitting in a chair, bro, you can sit there. Let me know when you're done, pretty much. You know what I mean? So different positions, you know, for some reason, missionary just makes me want to fucking just bow, baby. I let my meat marinate. Yeah, exactly. There it is, right? <laughs> yeah, see, pocket pussies are okay, but I don't think they're that good. I always tell a, a hoe, I'm going to give you 20 for they for like the 10 inches for 20 bit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm 24 and never kissed a girl. I'm cool. And I'm cool. It It what it is. Some people ain't focusing on themselves first. No, dude, you're not cool with it. You told me you're not cool. That you want to date. You're just being a pussy. Go out and fucking date. Don't be a pussy, man. You you want to date, J J Sir J? Well, you told me you did. You t everybody knows that here, dude. You do. Stop being a bitch. You you do. You know, masculine energy grows through challenge. I'm challenging you. You know, I know you do. It's okay to focus on yourself, and it's okay to fuck women too, or try to date women. You just gotta you just gotta nut up, man. I believe in you. Well, I believe in you. Here. Hey, don't worry. The day I got with Queen after out of college was fucking next to her friend asleep. Well, as soon as they ro uh, rocket launch, it also exploded. They both cracked up. That's hilarious. Wait, woke up. Her friend woke up and asked me laughing. Is that, is that it? Damn. <laughs> we, Mr. J Mr. J Way, masculine energy grows through challenge. I'm challenging you, man. You know you want to. Just get on it, bro. Bro, I'm the same on top. Just does something hard to last. Maybe because you're the dominant one. I don't know. It's just that is the t that is the fucking position where you're like, you know, it's like, Ugh, whoa, you know. Hey, man, we all have weak nuts. I mean, everybody has weak nut situations, you know, sometimes. Uh, but I have a friend like I have one friend and I do believe him, too. Um, he, and he says that, like, uh, you know, he just can't come sometimes. Like, it's a problem for him to come, which is the opposite problem. Right. I'm not going to go into the specifics, but I had a family friend husband um had a problem with porn and he had the opposite problem where it's not that he couldn't get up and in in his wife couldn't attract him it's that he could never come because it didn't turn him on enough the only porn could make him come which is like that sucks if you're a woman too you know we got you jayway do we just want to see you succeed at there dude 100 bro so that's what we want, bro. Come on. Like, I love when my friends are honest with me. They're like, dude, you're being a bitch or you're being a pussy. Like, those are the best friends. The friends that just like say, oh, no, 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 it's okay. No. Like, those are not real friends, dude. Those friends don't care about you, dude. 
It's the friends that challenge you, man. Those are the friends that care. Those are the friends I want. I don't want friends lying to me. You know, but yeah, man, that was an embarrassing time in my life. My, my, my man's over there just fucking the shit out of this chick, and I just nut in like two seconds, and I'm like, fuck, you know, god damn, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, embarrassing, but it happened, you know? Uh, and these days, you know, um, so to be honest, when I got out of my long ass marriage, you know, I'm with the same fucking, I mean, me and my chick, my ex wife broke up for like, before we were married, we broke up for like a couple months, and I was fucking a lot during those couple months. But after, I mean, having like random encounters with new women, that was a lot for me. Like I had to smack that shit sometime to get it going, you know? Um, it's not, it's sometimes it's, it's, it's not easy, but I mean, I've been going, I've, I've been putting up some numbers since, you know, the marriage. And what I, what I've noticed is that what really turns me on and what really helps me is when a girl is sexual, because I've been with chicks who don't do anything. And then the, okay. So I did. <laughs> So I, so I did it, this chick who used to play international basketball. She was my height and she was a tall chick, kind of like goofy, but she was sexy, bro. Nice body. I, you can ask Jake, Jake can confirm all these stories because, you know, he's my boy and we, you know, we share stuff and we got proof and stuff like that. And she was the sexiest chick. Like we were chilling on the couch, right? I don't know if she, I don't know. She probably dealt with like a bunch of like dudes, right? She's a fucking, I don't know. For some reason, chick athletes are like have a higher sex drive. Don't know what it is, but dude, she was like sexiest fucking chick, bro. She's all playing with my balls and she like, she was just going for it. Like, and that, and I didn't have any issues like getting hard, you know? So that's what I've noticed for me, you know, is that when she's about it and when she's like, okay with her sexual side and she's okay to take the lead on some things and like, you know, match your energy and not, it's not just a fucking, it's not just a fucking, uh, uh, pillow princess that's what gets me going right it's hard to like when you're doing everything you're the one doing you know what i mean it's just like that's tough sometimes right it's hard to get in the mood when chicks are like that right <laughs> i know racket club i know and that's the thing with like a, a lot of the crazy red pill like the hardcore like men going their own way movement and the hardcore like he-man woman haters is that they're like they want some fucking virgin mary that's never had sex before with one guy that's holy it's like dude you're not gonna fucking find that and if you did find that why would you want that you want actual you want awkward sexual experiences hell yeah jake i mean hell yeah jay how get out here bro me and you and jake will fucking absolutely we'll have a good time bro yeah we'll do it for jayway yeah we're gonna fly to jayway and we're gonna fucking just go out and have a good time and we're gonna find some chick to fucking suck his balls you know Talk girls have very cheap vajays, can't touch bottom, and it bothers me. Some do, some don't. You know what's crazy? Here's the crazy thing. What I've noticed, and this is, it's not everything. Check this out. I, you know, there's some big girls that I've, you know, dated in the past and before. Like, for some reason, some, not all of them, but some some of them reason, like, they are, like, sensitive to, like, you know, that's like, ow, ow. You know what I mean? Like, you can't go crazy. But I've dated some really, like, petite girls, and, like, they can just fucking take it. I don't know what, what it is. Vaginas are just different, bro. They're just different, right? They're just different. <clears throat> I was with a friend a few months ago. She's cool and all, nice, huge tits, but good. God damn, I got no help from her. She just seemed that she didn't want to know what to do besides lay down. That's so not sexy, bro. That's so not sexy. You know? I'm not into it. Yeah, but 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 if you want to have if you want to have a girlfriend or a sexual experience, you should go for it. If you if you're just settling. Because you feel like you're you you can't do it. That's not the move. Because I know you want it. You know, I know you want to have some sort of experiences or find the one for you, right? But if you truly feel like you know it's not for you, then that's fine, right? But if you want it, go for it. <laughs> DJ, we call those pinaches. Jay on God, he cool off. Been around even. He cool as fuck. Been around even before your channel. Jay and OG, yeah, Jay's an OG, bro. The tiny ones can take the most, bro. I don't know what it is, Jayhawk. Science, I don't know. We can take the trip to you guys. Trey's gonna go Hong Kong. Hong Kong. <laughs> I mean, I'm not in the business of banging hookers, but one in Rome. Do as the fuckers do, right? Yeah, it's not sexy at all, bro. I, I don't like that, dude. That that's a big issue for me. Like a chick who's just like gonna do nothing. It's like it's a huge issue for me. I can't get past it. Like we can we can we can fuck, but I I, I can never be with a chick like that long term. At least again, right? I've done it before in my in my past, but 
Not always true. I've banged some absolute uh, trollops. I had that tight, tight snap back. Hey, sometimes, man. But I like when they get active, you know? You know? Play with my balls. Kiss my neck. You know what I mean? Always play with the Always play with the balls. Always. It's not that I can't do it. It's just that I'm not focused on that. All right, cool. That's what it, if that's what you really mean, then dude, you don't have to be focused on them. And fine, you know. But I'm saying you don't want to meet Mrs. Wright and have zero experience. You know, that's not that's not the move. Chubby is so freaking sexy to me. Last few relationships have been with a woman just skinny. Maybe do I need a girl that has a thick, a little bit of body fat? But if you're cute, smart, and sexy, and a little thick, God, I look okay, at. I rather have a chick. So I'm going on a date Monday with this chick that I met. Oh my God. Oh my, I wish I could show you a picture, but I can't. But I'm going to show you guys because she was really like high interest in me. And I'll show you what it's like. My, the next video for Sim Seminars tomorrow, if I, no, yeah, tomorrow for Sim Seminars is going to be an example of different women. I'm going to block the names out, but different women who have different levels of attraction for you and how they respond. Some chicks, are flaky and they don't know. Some chicks really like you and they'll 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 give you their entire schedule for a week. I'll show you about that. But uh, yeah, I need girls a little bit of booty meat. You know, like my friend that's coming down for uh, the music festival. Like she is so sexy to me, so sexy to me, so so sexy to me. And she has a little bit of body fat on her and a big old ass. You know, I need like I need like the fucking for some reason like the the stomach and the thigh area is like the. You know, I mean, skinny girls can get some love too, obviously. Like little, but I'd rather bang a chick that's has some booty meat, dude. Those would be laying down like a corpse. I hate that, bro. Ready to go to Japan? Let's go. Can't do it, Jay. Let me see. You don't like chubby? Uh, I mean, you know what's you know what's crazy is I almost rather bang like a, a kind. Not, I'm not talking about fat. I'm talking about a little bit of booty meat, like, but. I've been with a chick, a, a few chicks, right? That are like, that have like that tight, hot ass body. And honestly, that's sexy, honestly, better than skinny, but like a little bit of booty meat, it's better to me. That's better to me. Like, like, like the, like the Drake music video type of chicks. You know what I mean? Like redonkulous, like the fit super tight is hot too, but I like me some booty meat, you know, a little bit, a little tiny bit of cellulite. And I like that shit. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I hate thick hoes, big ass titties, weakness. I know. <laughs> I don't like, I'm not a big titty guy, but I'll take them if they're there. I love me some big old titties. Slim thick is my, <laughs> right? Track and field type girls. Yay! DJ says, I asked this girl when she was available to chill, and she straight up said, any day except Sunday because I have plans with my dad. That's exactly, that. that's exactly what you want. Does penis size matter? Yes, it does matter. Okay, look, here's the thing. What's the average American penis size, right? It's what, 5.1 inches? Okay. Look it. Some guys have huge monster cocks, but that's not the, what is the percent? Let me, let me Google it. Percentage of guys. Percentage. Percentage of men with a penis over six inches is 16%. 16%. Now, when you're watching porn, a lot of guys have huge monster cocks. That's why um, a lot of men have like complex issues because they watch a lot of porn. And they see these huge ass fucking wean dogs. The average American penis is, let me see, or average penis size. And really fucking it up for us. The average penis size is. I think it's like 5.5, wait, between 5.1 and 5.5 inches. Okay, so percentage of men, of men with penis over 8 inches. 1% have a penis size 7 to 8 inches. Obviously, it gets smaller and smaller. Now, I think the the, the region with the, with the biggest penis size, I think it's 7 point something inches. I know all about the sex ed guy stuff. I study this shit, right? Is like some African country, obviously. And of course, the smallest is some Asian country, right? Now, length is important, but girth is more important too. But here's the thing. Some chicks, a lot of chicks, if you watch like a lot of porn star interviews, and I suggest you watch some of those like on Barstool and other places. I think No Jumper is pretty good too. Like they don't like huge monster cocks. Like that's not what they want. They want a decent sized penis, like an average, like a, maybe a, a six, 
you know, 5.5 to like a, maybe an eight or something like that. Not That's not average, but what I'm saying is that's the kind of size they want, like big, but not like ginormous. I'm, I'm sure some women like huge monster cocks, right? But if you have a micro dick, right? Like a really tiny wiener, then obviously it matters because there's no friction, right? There's no friction. You know what I mean? But here's the thing. Once she gets to that point, what is she going to do? Not know it, you know? Now, obviously, like Racket Club, Racket Club says, uh, pubes matter. So if you cut your pubes, it looks bigger, right? And, it'll, you know, and if you lose weight, you'll gain like half an inch. If you're overweight, like, and you have like a little fupa, like a little, little fat area, if you lose weight, you're gonna be able to see your fucking, uh, your, your wean dog, right? Now, girth is a, an, a is, is arguably more important. Some chicks like fucking, um, some chicks like fucking, you know, big meaty fucking wieners. Some chicks like long wieners. I've had chicks that I've dated who, and I'm not going to share too much here, but when you fucking, you fucking touch on the fucking cervix, you know what I mean? It's like some chicks like that shit. They like that shit really deep. Some chicks are like, ow, ow, if you go too deep, you know what I mean? And I mean, some chicks like the big girthy ones. Some guys have fucking big burrito can fucking wieners. They're all a little different, right? So if you have a huge fucking wiener, like if it's eight or above inches, right? So you can't just be going, God, God, just, just not, that that's not the game is not for you unless she can take it, unless she knows how, right? Uh, you know what I mean? Or she's trained. I mean, I'm sure you guys watch porn where some women do some monstrous things to that thing. And you wonder, how is any man going to please you when you stick a fucking a caution cone in there. You know what I mean? hundred percent of girls don't like big dicks. Here's the thing, Jayhawk. If you, if you know what you're doing and that shit's right. When, what happens when you turn women on, right? When you warm her up, shit expands, gets wet. You use a bit of lube. You slow at first, right? You go, you go a little slow and then you get a, a progressively rougher, like have some rhythm, go slow, put on some slow jams, do a little tempo. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So you, you just you can't just go straight fucking balls to the wall. If you have a fucking little four inch wean dog or a little three inch wean dog and you, um, you know, start plowing, then yeah, obviously it's not gonna have the same effect. You know what I mean? But if that happens, one, for if you have like a really small wiener, one, because size does matter, right? Um, size does matter, right? Um, it's by the time she gets to that point, it's too late. Your, your pants are down. She's down. At least go for it. You know, fuck it. At least you're dipping your little wiener in something, right? And two focus on other things then like if you have a long-term relationship and you have a small baby dick you got to get better at eating pussy finger fucking her getting toys making things like sexual right you can be good but having like a small wing dog right so but yeah size does matter so anybody tell you doesn't they're fucking stupid yeah women like soda cans not hot dogs yeah some of them well some of them do some chicks like long wieners too but yeah they like uh they like thicker ones right don't search latex angel i won't once we agree to fuck you're gonna take what i give bitch no matter. <laughs> like <laughs> the coolie man <laughs> oh yeah don't make a girl mad because she's gonna say your dick is shorter than it is she lying <laughs> why the fuck you lying nah, you know, they can say whatever they want you know have you guys seen that pete davison stand-up where he talks about dating ariana grande and she says that he has a big dick and he says like he said he he says it's big, but it's not like crazy. And so the funny thing, he's like, she she kind of sabotaged him because she said that every girl he gets with after her is gonna expect a huge cock and she's gonna be disappointed. So that was pretty funny, right? Be a man, make fun, make it fun. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. As a man, you gotta perform. Like if you can't get it up, try. Try the best way to get it up sometimes, and it, it's kind of a double edged sword because you kind of fuck yourself over. Is eat, you know, go down on her, right? And our, our fucking finger, whatever you got to do, right? And um, just spank that shit. Try to get it going. Get some lube on your hand. Try to spank that shit. Play with the tip of your penis. Try to spank it a little bit. Get yourself close to edging. Stop. And then your, your fucking wean dog will slowly inflate over time. The thing is, like, you already got close to edging. So you're already at the point of no return a lot of the times. So you got to be careful. I already know what gets me going, which is cupping the balls, her. I'm getting myself going, and she kisses me and stuff like that. That is like every time, every time, every time. Steph Curry from the free throw line. Every time, baby. Steph Curry for the, 99% of the time, unless I'm doing drugs. You know what I mean? Tomorrow's topic. I mean, like sometimes some chicks are like swinging a bat in the fucking garage. You know, and like throwing a hot dog down the hallway. 
you know, women are all different, man. Unless you don't like being a shish kebab, she ain't. <laughs> Bro, never uh, had to as soon as a female I'm in touches me anywhere. Poppy is game. Wait, bro, never had to as soon as a female I'm touches and oh hey man, some yeah I'm not like that though. Like I it takes me I like I like a chick who's like interactive, you know. But it says if she's hot, I'm bricked up up before we get into the smashing. Hey man, yeah yeah I get that. A naked woman alone doesn't quite do it. There's got to be sexuality. Me too. I like the fucking slow dance of it. I don't know what it is, you know. I don't get excited easily for some, you know, I just don't like making out and like that kind of stuff that gets me going. But uh, I got to have some more than that, you know. We're all a little different, right? Damn, I want a beer. Oh, the stream's almost over. Streams are, should I just get a beer and say, fuck it? Should I just get a beer? Should I get a beer right now? You guys want to grab a drink? Just hang out a little longer or what? Yeah. What you guys want to do? Why the fuck you lying? What you want? I'm gonna grab a beer. I'll be right back. All right, we got the uh, little Lagunitas. Let's see. I know what Rule Thirty Four is, uh, Mister J. Way. That means if it's if it's uh, it exists, it could be a uh, it could be a uh, a porn. I know what that is. I know what that is. But can you really hear me ping? Jesus Christ. Really? This mic is good. Uh, if you can hear all over my bathroom, it ain't a weak stream, baby. Uh, I'm horny 24K. Let's go. Even uh, touch it will send me over the moon. Say, Thomas, I remember you live. <laughs> Wait, did I do a shotgun? I did shotgun a beer live streaming, huh? <laughs> my we got the jacuzzi jet pit. Um, what we drinking? Been a been White Claw for a while and love. I like White Claws too. No more IPA. I'll have a Modelo or an IPA eating, but strictly White Claw lately. Yeah, I mean, I just ate like a fat steak earlier. You guys want to see the steak I ate earlier? That shit was busting. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys real quick. Shit was good. I'm trying not to go out tonight. I have a friend. She wants to fucking hang out and go out, but look at the steak, dude. Share, share screen. People are roasting my steak early. I'm like, dude, it's not fucking it's not even roasting my steak. Look at that shit. Ooh. Oh, baby. Check that out. Some guy in my, th th like, this was rare. I like my steak medium rare. This was rare. And some guy in my chat or was like, oh, what's this? He, no, I didn't grill. I did it on my stove, but this guy was like, um, hold on, where's he at? So some guy was like, sir, I'm, I'm going to need you to cut the center of the steak and show me the color. I have a stinking suspicion. So this, this guy is like, you see how it's somewhat bulbous in the middle? That's usually indicated, indic, indicative, indicative of over-coagulated uh, protein molecules, which is the result of too much heat over a prolonged period of time, forcing moisture out of the cells. In other words, it appears to be overcooked. 
I could be wrong. Yeah, bitch, you were wrong. It was fucking too rare. I had to put it back in there a, a little bit because I like my shit medium rare. So, you know, yeah, fucking wrong. I hate that shit. God, it pissed me off. I have a bunch of alcohol in my fridge. I, I usually don't keep a lot of alcohol unless it's wine for the house. Um, in my um, in my uh, uh, on deck either, but um, I had a bunch of friends come over for the fights Friday. These motherfuckers brought two like thirty packs. Like one is Modelo Negro, which is disgusting. I'll never drink it. And the other one was these, which I do like. And so I just have a shit ton of beer in my fridge now. So, but I might go go out a little bit tonight to like ten or eleven or something like that. So. That wasn't a steak. It was a that was a New York strip. What the fuck are you talking about? What's up, Jayhawk? Yeah, why does that? I don't. Cause, well, he's a chef on. He, it's it's fucking Twitter. Like you you cannot p- please Twitter people. You cannot please Twitter people. I fuck with Modelo too, but I only fuck with Modelo um, N- Negro. Like Novel- Modelo Negro is like not good. Modelo Negro is not good. I don't think it's good at all. Everyone here, we need to meet up. I'm a Gab Jayhawk. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Jayhawk. You going to take that? Jayhawk. Uh, Jayhawk, you going to take that? Jack, you going to let him talk to you like that, Jayhawk? Let me hit my boy up real quick. Hold on. Rodney races against Black Modella. Shit's gross, bro. Looks bird. Shut up, Mr. J-Way. Oh, you know that guy, J- uh, Jayhawk? Oh, but you, you Jay Linda, Jay, y'all know each other? We're by our bus, bro. Cast iron for the win. Yeah, I have a cast iron grill, but I think I did something. It got really rusted, so I'm 100% racist against Modelo Negro. Shit's gross. Let's go, DJ. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, nice. Wait, how do you know Jay Linda? Uh, which cryptos channel were you guys in, you little weirdos? Let's go. Here we go, DJ. I mean, I like all steaks, dude. I'm not. Ooh, nice. I love hazy IPA. I'm not really. Uh, I don't discriminate, bro. I love me a good steak, though. But ribeye is good. A New York. Uh, let's see. What are my favorites? Got ribeye, New York strip, flaming young T bone. I don't like T bones. Hanger steak. Tri tri tips good. Skirt steak. Um, flaming young, bro. Woo! Like me, I, I, steak is just good. Steak is just fucking. Fantastic. I don't know what it is about a big piece of fucking meat paws. It's just so good, bro. Unsalted butter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Salt and pepper. I didn't do rosemary, but I did uh, I did a little bit of uh, steak seasoning. Um, and then I did um, uh, some butter. And I, I, I did I grilled it with onions and um, garlic, too. Oh, ask him about his loss on ChibaSwap. Whoa. This one clown called Tommy Talks Crypto, dumbass dude, was rugging suckers. He made his own token and rugged everyone who worshipped him. Sounds like a fucking common thing in the crypto space, right? Sounds like a very common thing in the space. Am I light as fuck? I was dating this chick and she downloaded some dumbass fucking astrology app on my fucking phone and we're not dating anymore and it's still there and it's fucking stupid it's so dumb astrology is so dumb none of that shit makes sense you guys think that shit makes sense none of that shit makes sense uh you gotta season it brother the only way to cook it ditch the non-stick no i did steak seasoning i did steak seasoning salt and pepper is probably the best but i had some um i forgot what it's called what kind of steak seasoning but i use it for my uh because usually what i eat every day if i'm just eating like to get lean i usually do 93 7 ground turkey excuse me, ground beef, uh, organic, right? Grass fed shit. 
Then I do a can of black beans, and but I do uh, onions, garlic, and I do some steak seasoning in that, and some a little bit of cumin because I think cumin's fucking delicious on everything, and a little bit of salt, and I uh, mix it up in a pan, and it's so good, right? With some black beans, and I put that with rice, and it's just easy to make. Sometimes I'll throw vegetables. It's easy. Has a lot of protein, fiber, and it gets me like three meals. So that's what I eat if I'm like cutting. Um, so I'm usually pretty, you know, chill with the seasonings. Um, but today, I, you know, I usually do a steak with salt and pepper, but today I wanted to try some of the, st the steak seasoning, which is pretty good. Uh, racket club, if they ask, <laughs> but I don't send it to friends and stuff like that. Rum 503 in Portland, try hub beer company, IPA fire. Dude, I used to work at a place called Fatheads, but then it's called Von Ebert. And they won like a beer contest in Portland. So I know me some good uh, IPAs, bro. The Shoots Brewery too. Oh, Portland has. Here's the thing. When it comes to beer, San Diego is number one. Portland is number two. The thing is, San Diego, it's distributed everywhere. Portland's all in one spot. That's, that's where I fell in love with IPAs was in Portland. Bro, shut up on my cancer. Not coming. Cumin. I did say cumin, right? Did I say, did I say cumin? I said cumin, bro. It's a human. Had a couple billion ship tokens get locked on ShipaSwap, freaked out, logged out of my wall, and didn't have my phrase. Also had Mononoke. Oh, fuck, Jay, no. <laughs> no. It'd be like that, bro. Kiss that shit goodbye. It's there. You, do you check your wallet? Do you still have the wallet address, Jay? To see how it's doing? Dude, Cumin's so good, dude. That shit's bomb as fuck on like ground beef. Whoa, whoa, just good, just good. I like it's. I, I, you know, I don't even need cumin in there, but I do. You know, cumin is so good, dude. I don't know what it is about that shit, but that shit just makes your food better. Like the smell too is just so good. So all that curry and shit, you know. Have you ever tried to make curry from scratch? Like my ex was a fantastic chef, and she would make curry. Oh, fuck your mother. Just so good, dude. She could cook, bro. I mean, honestly, cooking's not hard. You just gotta follow the directions. Like people don't know how to follow directions. So. I'm talking about the cast iron pan, bro. Have to season it and up. Oh, I heard about that, Jay Linda. And like you don't wash it, right, or something like that. Or how does that work? I had a cast iron pan, Jay Linda, but I haven't used it. I mean, some people use it on the grill, but I've done it on all three. And honestly, I don't know. But let me tell you, grilled asparagus and green grilled bell pepper, nothing like it. Okay, so okay, so I don't know if she's coming over racket club. Okay, here's the thing. Let me tell you about this chick. I think she's cute, but it's it's a weird it's a weird vibe. So, uh, I met this chick through a friend in Ibiza, right? She was with a group of people, and that night I wasn't gonna go out. Um, she's a little Latina chick, very young, like 22. Uh, I met her met her in Ibiza, though, big party chick, right? And I was my buddy at the time was trying to bang her, but my buddy has something going on at home, so. Now that we're back in San Diego, but she happened just to be from San Diego. But we met her in Ibiza the night that Jake stayed in and I was supposed to stay in too. My other buddies like want, needed somebody to come out. So they came over, you know, we started doing extracurriculars. I was tired. But once I did some drogas, you know, I was like, yeah, let's fucking go out. So we go out with them. There's no sexual tension. We danced a little bit, but nothing between us. Right. Okay. So when we get back to San Diego, like uh, I, I did a, a hiking trip and I invited a bunch of people. Everyone flaked except for her. So it was me and her on this hiking trip. So me, her and I went hiking. This is recent, a couple months ago. Um, and she's cool as fuck. But when it comes to like my type, she's not my type. She's like a taller, slender Mexican chick. Um, she's very, she's beautiful. I mean, I would, I would smash, but she's just not my type. Like, and she was just cool as a friend. I'm like, oh, we got, we got some lunch at some Mexican food place. Like literally, I had no intention of doing anything sexual with her. But she's fun and she likes to send it. So we've hung out and then we didn't hang out anymore. And then uh, the other last, thir <laughs> so last Thursday night we go out, right. And, uh, she's not there right first. I go out with my other buddy, me and my buddy are out. I see her on her Instagram story. She sees me out. She says, where is that? Right. And so we start texting and I, I give her the address. My other buddy leaves cause he's a fucking lame ass. So she's there with me. So it's just me and her now. And like, you know, things got a little, you know, and I went for the kiss, you know, cause I was kind of horny and drunk and stuff like that. Racket club. <laughs> I went for the kiss a little bit, and it didn't seem like she was too into it. So I was like, "All right, whatever, you know, what, cool, whatever." So 
the next day, is it the next day? Yeah, the next day, um, you know, she tells me about something the night before, and I'm like, all right, we get a, we get a, a crew together, we all go to this uh, show the next day, and of course we're all we're all fucking doing extracurriculars, but me and her were like flies on shit all night, like stuck together, making out and shit like that. But at the end of that night, <clears throat> I ended up leaving with another chick, and so I think that maybe she took offense to that. I don't know, maybe, and um, okay, <clears throat> because. Like I said, she's not really my type, and there was another girl there that was my type, but long, long story. Um, okay, so we've been chatting back and forth and stuff, and she just asked me, you know, like, what are you doing? Like, what are you, what are you up to tonight? And I told her, I'm not doing, doing much. And she said, oh, I, I think I'm going to go to this place that's local here to, to, to go dance. And I was like, I'm staying in tonight. And then she hit me up again saying that she's going to go. And I said, all right, hit me up. So, you know what I mean? So th that's what happened. That That's what happened. That's the story. Um, so... It's nothing really serious, but obviously there's some attraction there, but I don't know. Why did I fuck up? I didn't fuck up. I, I could take it or leave it. I think she's great, but I, I don't mind having her as like a homegirl, you know? She's she's fun, you know? Rodney Horny and drunk? I'm not that drunk. I'm buzzing, but um, I just have to be here, bro. Come on. I'm not that much of a lightweight. But I met another girl that night, and I think she got mad about that, I think. So I was making out with her the whole night, you know, and then I, <laughs> and we were dancing and shit and, you know, and, but the other girl was like, I don't know. I thought she was, you know, she's just more, I think she was, she was hotter, you know, <laughs> but uh, hopefully she's not watching this, but if she is, I don't give a shit, you know, whatever. Like I said, I mean, whoever I date or is going to have to accept this because I'm hanging out with the boys, you know? And of course I wouldn't share intimate details or names and stuff like that, but. You got to keep a baddie as a homie better. Wing. Dude, she's sick, bro. She's she's fun. She's fun as fuck, bro. But I never had like I never had that vibe. And the only reason why we hung out like one on one was because everybody canceled on uh, our hiking trip. You know? And it just happened to happen. And she was just cool as fuck. She's just cool as fuck. She's going through a lot. She's, she's a young girl, but she's 22. You know, she's going through 22 year old girl shit. You know what I mean? She just graduated college. Volleyball player. Very attractive. It's very attractive. Beautiful smile. You know? But she's just not my type, really. But of course, I you know sleep with her. I know you never know, you know, you never know. You know what I mean? You never know over time, you know. Should happen. She's fun, bro. And she has a good she has a good soul, you know. But uh, I think she got mad at me from that night, and because um the funny thing is that she saw me on Hinge and she matched with me on Hinge. She says, "Hey Rodney," on like the next day on Hinge, and I put, "Hey, how's it going, so and so?" And she never replied. And then like she texted me one time, and I texted her back. She never replied. And then she hit me up this morning and was like, hey, what are you doing? And I hit, and I hit her up like an hour later. And she didn't reply all the way to like 5 p.m. So I waited a couple hours. You know, I mean, I don't know if she's playing the game with me or whatever, but it's like, you're going to come out, hang out. You want to come over, come over. You know what I mean? It is what it is. You know, I'm not hurting for no ass. You know, I, honestly, I need to sleep and go to bed at a reasonable hour. And you know what I mean? Like today's been a perfect day of like working out and I had good cardio today. I ate perfectly today. I mean, I can have a couple more of these before my, uh, calories go over my limit i don't want to go out dancing because i know what's going to happen i'm an animal if i go out i'm not having one beer i'm having five and i'm dancing to the break of dawn baby because i don't go 10 percent. i go 100 percent, which is bad it's better for me just to stay inside you know so she's a good woman though but it is what it is uh i was winging it last weekend and met me a few baddies along the way it'd be like that bro Hell yeah, Wagmi's got me in jail. Uh, can't choose what you're attracted to. It's not a choice, right? She just figured out how to. <laughs> no, she didn't. Yeah, Ronnie, you don't want those Chanel bags like me under your eyes. <laughs> I know I gotta relax a little bit. I've been sending this last year has been crazy. I mean, part of it's coping me, co coping of a you know relationship. I'd say like a long one. Um, <laughs> Jayhawk, go out pussy, dude. You, I'm, I'm an animal, bro. I went out Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Monday night, guys. I got to slow down. I got to slow down. Oh, God. No more three-day weekends, bro. We need a Rodney Dow. You're out of control. I am out of control, bro. I'm out of control. You know, but let's just say I don't have any extracurriculars in my possession, which are usually the motivators to, to, to go out. You know? So those are the motivators. You know, you get a little bit of those in your system, and you're like, what? Yeah! Thursday! 
Washington. The reason why I was going out on Monday is because there's this thing called Blue Monday, which is like a goth vibe. It's like 80s music. It's called like New Wave. And like, it is such a vibe. And all my friends that I grew up with, my childhood friends are into that style of music. So I just put on all black, you know what I mean? And you know what I mean? And I just danced that shit, you know, all night. You know, and it's just cool. And I meet like a lot of good people there, but the people that regular that thing, you can tell that like maybe they don't have like the best going on in their lives. And you can tell that they all probably do too many drugs and don't sleep enough and all work jobs that really don't go anywhere. You know what I mean? Like, so you know that's the the type of environment you're in. It's a different vibe than like going at the club with like Jake and the boys, you know, with the homies and like getting a table. It's like a different vibe, you know. <clears throat> You know, um, but yeah, it's getting out of control, guys. I, I gotta relax. The thing is, I don't. I, I want to get in really good shape again. Like, I just don't like being in bad shape. You know, I just don't like. I like being like super lean and like, you know. The thing is, like, it's hard to do that and go out. You know, you could do it and go out. You just gotta like not eat. The thing is, like, when I get drunk, you know, I do other things and I get really drunk and then I want to eat a bunch of bad food. And like, literally. I don't care ordering a bunch of like Mexican food when I'm drunk. I'll feel bad about it in the morning, but I don't give a fuck, you know? And it's bad. This was Rodney two weeks ago, Friday morning stream. I've been sending it way too hard. I got to slow down at 7 p.m. Same day he tweets. I'm taking a three-day weekend. Then <laughs> This was actually last week. This was not two weeks ago, DJ. This is last week. This is last Thursday. So I remember. I was drunk as fuck on a Thursday night. I was at an art thing, right? An art like bass show. It had music there. And I bought a bunch of art from some guy. It's really good. I hung it up. <laughs> and then I, and then I was like, you know what? I'm taking a three day weekend. <laughs> yeah. Should I make new sweatshirts? Just tea swing. Teespring is so bad, dude. That quality is so ass, bro. I don't always call in. I think I should just take the weekends off, though. I don't know. I don't know. I think I should. I don't know. I like just like I'm the type of person, dude. Like I'm like conscientious, but I'm not like I'm not a workaholic, dude. I'm not. I've never been. I've done it, but like, I'm not a workaholic. You know, when the bull market picks up, I will sit here and grind because that's where the money's to made be made. Um, but I'm not a workaholic like that. I'm just not. Um, I like to do some work, you know, and I like to work on my fitness and stuff. I really spend a lot of time like doing mental health stuff. Like I like to go out. I I, I spend hours. Like I probably spend like. I don't know, like 15 hours a week just walking around my neighborhood. And then, of course, more hours are like for kickboxing and stuff like that. Um, and I make sure I get eight hours of sleep if I'm not going crazy, right? Um, so I always do a lot, you know. I'm not the type to like f like forgo my health for like working too much. I'll do it in the bull market because that's where it's, the money is supposed to be made. But you going to Idaho? Utah? <laughs> I think you should be taking some time. That's what I'm saying. Dude, when the bull run happens, dude, I'm going to be here 24-7, guys. <clears throat> Jayhawk, I'm moving to Brazil or Colombia after I get, get that Rodney bag. Hey! <laughs> 100K for a mansion, baby. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. Crypto's been good to me, man. Crypto's been good to me. Absolutely killing it. Absolutely killing it. But I've noticed that, like, dude, I have more, like, money than I need, and <clears throat> it's just, like, it doesn't make a difference. Like, I don't want, like, a ton of nice things. Like, I just don't have that, like, appetite to buy a bunch of, like, cool shit. I just don't. Like, dude, I literally wear, like, Vans and fucking a, some shorts and a shirt. You know, I have, I have some jewelry, but I have, like, five pieces of jewelry where some people have, like, an arsenal, like, bust downs and stuff like that. Like, I upgraded my office. I upgraded my living room. Like, I don't know what else to upgrade. My living room looks nice. I wish I could get a new stove, but it's like a fucking apartment. So, like, literally, like, um, I don't, I can't buy more things. Like, I fucking put a TV in here for my guest room. Like, recently, I just mounted a TV. Can you see this? I just mounted a TV in here. You can't. I need to fix this camera a little later. But I just mounted a TV in here in my guest room. So, I made my guest room all sick. So, if you're staying the night at my my shit, but my place. I got a nice car. You know, like, I got the, the nicest car that I want. I have drip, too. But I don't have like a like I have like I have, I have like a few designer shirts. I have like maybe five or six like really nice shirts, and one really expensive shirt. But that's it, and I don't even use it. Balenciaga, <laughs> I know, right? DJ play, do DJ plays? There's no DJ plays right now, dude. There, it, there isn't. I'm telling you, Volt's gonna be one of those meme coin guys. It's gonna go crazy. What? 
when when not off bro wait bernie knows he pulled out a while ago go to sleep fookers what's up psycho what i like to do is i like i like to go out like like nice dinners i like to eat i have to splurge on food like i'll spend like a bag on food every night like i don't care and like it's the women i date like not the first date but like later down the road pull pick them up in the tezzy all clean because my tezzy stays clean you know what i mean pull up in the tezzy you know what i mean Go to like a nice ass restaurant. Sometimes, depends. Um, just DM me. <clears throat> there are call groups that I'm a part of, but it's 50 50, bro. Wagme's pumping hard today. It's the only thing that hasn't started dumping like crazy. I think. Let me see. It's not a crypto stream, but we'll look at it. Everything's starting to dump again. The market's taking a shit. <clears throat> yeah, Wagme's still the only thing that's up. It was sending. Everything else is taking a fat shit. Bolts down, bones down, everything's down. JX is proud of you. Yeah, I paid. I was pushing a little 2015 Mustang with a big dent in it. I could have got a car earlier, but you don't give a fuck. You're you're desperate for a quick buck. You got to be careful, bro. You're gonna lose your money. You're gonna you're you know you're gonna you're gonna lose your money. If you know some DJ plays, send them to Rag Club because I don't know any. I got about 11k in Wagme J Hawk. J-Way t-shirt, jeans, and vans is totally drip. You rocking it? You rocking it right? Yeah, I, I, you know, I like that. Want a sick car and a clean house? I'm simple. Rodney, get a fucking dog. You want, I'm going to get a dog in um after Coachella. After Coachella, I'm going to get a dog. Well, I think Jay wants... Here's the thing. Maybe after Thailand, because Jake and I are traveling in June. I can't... You can't... A puppy... I want to stay home with my puppy for at least the first six months. I don't want to leave my puppy for six months at least. Because I'm. it's my dog, so... I'm gonna get a dog. I think I'm gonna get like a uh, some sort of um. I need, I need some sort of like fucking big dick energy dog. I don't do well with lap dogs, um, or a golden doodle. Fuck, golden doodles are so cute, bro. <laughs> Dude, I'm a bitch when it comes to golden doodles. So what I want is I want to get a Bengal cat and a puppy at the exact same time, a kitten and a puppy at the same time, and make them best friends. That's what I want. Cats are easier, but it's something weird about a single guy with a cat. You know, he's got a dog, though. He's got a dog. Yeah. And I want to name one Link and one Ganondorf. Who knows what that's from? Or one Tattle and one Tail. I don't think they're called Black Golden Retrievers. I think I think they're Golden Retrievers because they're Golden Retrievers. I think you're thinking of a fucking uh, what are they called? Um, what are those dogs called? I forgot. Just go to Mexico, bro. I'm going to fly to Rodney, find a big booty redhead, take her back to Rodney's place and get him lit as fuck. And we're going to pass on, clap her shit and put him in the splash. <laughs> when he pass on, I'm going to clap her shit. <laughs> you fucking, that is brutal. That's very detailed, but you fucking little shit. I already, got a, I already got a big booty redhead coming to a festival with me. She's a babe, too. I actually like this chick, but I don't know. There's something from like stopping me from committing. But I do like her a lot. She moved back home. She's the one I knocked up. She just says, I'm almost ready to get a dog. Might happen this year, if not next year. Yeah, exactly. I want a dog, dude. A little puppy. I already have experience with one, so. But yeah, chocolate Labrador. Yeah, Labrador. There it is. Labrador. I almost match every confident. <laughs> I've had a, a lab for 17 years. I've had my dog days. Yeah. If you get it, it's a dog is not like a, oh, a spur of the moment thing. It's like, hey, motherfucker, this is a 10 to 15 year commitment, sometimes longer. And I'm fucking militant when it comes to feeding my animals. I do not fuck around with snacks and stuff. I don't overfeed. I don't free feed. Uh-uh. Timing, baby. You get your three meals and maybe a snack here and there. It's better for them. Discipline is better for your animals. Uh, anyone try Hey Dude shoes? Been one year with a few pair. Hella hate, but cured all my... I've never seen that. Get a wiener dog and name Kevin. I don't want a wiener dog, dude. I need like an actual dog. Like I want my dog to like... When someone like tries to come to my door. You know, like would fuck someone up on would fuck someone up on command, but still sociable. You know, you need to go on some more serious dates uh, with that girl you like, dude. I've been dating her since April <laughs> or March, I think, or no, April. Yeah, April, late April. I, I'm ex I do like her, bro. I do like her. I like her because like. I don't know. I like her because like she's funny, bro. Like she's funny and cool. Like I could sit down and watch a movie with her. I could sit down and like like scroll through memes with her. Okay, look at she's just not as sexual as I want her to be. She's kind of a noob when it comes to some things. Like she won't explore her sexual side enough. And I don't want to force her to do it, you know. 
I think that's probably the biggest thing. I don't think she's like a, well, I'm not going to go over like her, you know, but I think she's very, I do like her, man. She's fun, bro. She's young. She's fun. She's full of energy. She's a good attitude, you know, like I like going out with her and stuff, you know, but I wish she dressed more sexy. I, I think she, I wish she dressed sexier. And I wish cause she dresses kind of like a like a thirty five year old. I don't know if that makes sense. Like she dresses like a thirty five year old. You know, like she's she has a dude. She has a big ass, bro. Like when we went to a festival, like I wear sunglasses like everywhere. Everyone is looking at her ass. Every everyone is looking at her butt. I remember I was wearing sunglasses walking, and some black guy was just like, ah, damn, you know what I mean? Like respect to me. I cannot take her out with someone just fuck without someone eye fucking her butt. <clears throat> you don't like her that much if you're still playing around. Well, she's in another state, so I'm, I'm, you know, she's coming out to see daddy. So I'll spank a badass dog so fast. My mom is a hood ass red black. <laughs> really? We know you like her. You talk about. I do like her. I do like her, but I still want to bang other women though, and it's not fair to her. Oh, geez, will remember me selling all crypto. I had profit to pay over 7K in vet, vet bills. We'll never take it back 100%, bro. Dude, yeah. I mean, always pay your bills first, right? Especially if they have interest. He was looking like that fat motherfucker. Don't know what he's doing. Psh, bad motherfucker. Ask her who's daddy. I need I, I need that woman with hella drip. She got a love. Uh, hold on. Where's she from? She's from Virginia. And she met. Um, we met because uh, she was. I was getting physical therapy. I just had knee surgery. Um, but I first met her while it was like the last like month I was with my wife, I met her and then I, you know, I got divorced and then, um, she was still at the office and then we started like, you know, I was like, Hey, uh, you know, when are you free to get together? Let's hang out. And I remember, cause she's my physical therapist. She wasn't the physical therapist. She was the assistant. So she has her degree, but she's not the person that's doing the, she's the one helping out with stuff. Like she would get in like an ice pack for me and like the little, and so we'd be talking like three times a week, like often, you know, um, I know, Jake. I dude, Jay. I know, dude. Me, you, and Jake together are me, Racket Club, and Jake, dude. Yeah, we're gonna get some shit, dude. But um, um, uh, yeah. So I just said, hey, I always roast her because I'm like, you know, she was poaching her clients. You know what I mean? I'm over there fucking. You know, we would flirt all the time, so I'm sure everyone in the office knew we were fucking vibing each other. And then I, you know, after when I was available, I said, hey, you know, let's get together. And she's like, yeah, okay, I'm down with that. And I gave her my phone, and I've never had someone put their number in my phone so fast. You know, and that's how we met. You know, we met because I was getting physical therapy and she happened to work at that building. You know. She's from Virginia. She went to Virginia Tech. She played soccer. Nice little booty. I wouldn't say she has a, like the nicest face of all time. You know, I would say that, but she she's hot, bro. She's a nice body. She's a great body for me. She's 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 my type. She's a shorter. Redheaded chick. She loves lifting weights. So she's a little muscular. She has a little booty meat. And she has the... F- oh my f- when I say she has a fat ass, I'm not even exaggerating, guys. She has a fucking ghetto onion, bro. But it looks good on her. She doesn't look fat. She looks, She has like... She's got body, bro. And she's fucking... She loves to dance, bro. Shut up, Jayhawk. You know? I love athletic shorties. Yeah. 100%. Well, I'm going out with some chick uh, Monday night. Which I'm excited. I can't give you, I can't send you pics of her. I'm not going to put pics of her on the internet. That's fucked up. <sighs> I'm not going to put pics. You can ask, you don't have to, ask, we went, me and, uh, me, her and, uh, uh, fucking, uh, uh, Jake, Jake wouldn't lie for me, bro. Me, her and Jake went out. I brought her to a club one night. You know, Jake seen her. She bitched me out later that night, but out anyways she got mad at me because um me and jake uh me and jake both bought girls to the club but we had a guy friend with us this is what i told you about last time like uh he's just a weirdo like he's just like weird with chicks like he's just awkward he's like our age but he's just awkward so like uh he was just standing there like with his hands in his pocket w- looking weird and then we run around and we just grabbed a bunch of girls like hey you want to come to our table hey you want to come to our table and, and most chicks say yeah because they're literally gonna fucking um i'll tell you about that awesome and no what's up awesome how you doing so we just grabbed him and we came back to our table. And then um, she was into the guy that was being awkward. And uh, he was like being awkward. And she she ends up asking, like, is he gay? I was like, no, he's not. So I talked to him. I talked to her. It was loud. I hooked them up together. They were making out and shit like that. They were sucking face the entire night. So pff, we killed it. We, we did our job for the boys. 
Um, but unfortunately, the, you know, the chick I was with, I'm a little fiery redhead, did not like that. She's like, you're a little attention whore and you're going around talking to all these girls. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. She bitched me out at the hotel, but whatever. Still pounded. Had some nasty sex after that. Woke up in the morning, had a breakfast burrito, drove home. Call it a weekend. And it wasn't the gothic chick. But funny story about that. Nothing ever happened with her, awesome. But she goes to that same place, that Blue Monday place. I go to every single Monday night. Nothing ever happened with her. But I'm not sure if she's a hook. I think she's a hooker. But she's not the hot in person either. She just wears a bunch of makeup. Let's go, racket. Let's go, baby. Guys, but I want to get out of here, man. I'm a little tired. I want to sit on my ass and watch some TV. So, yeah, I would dip if she did that. Nah, I wouldn't. She just, she just, she just a chick. She just chewed me out. You know, I was like, here's the thing. I don't get upset. I'm just like, yeah, 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 yeah. She's like, you're a little tension whore. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, yeah, shut your ass up. You know what I mean? That is what it is. I never let it bother me. I, I wasn't like, what do you mean? You know, I was just like, oh, really? I'm like, oh, are you mad? I was poking. I'm like, oh, you mad at me? She's like, yeah, don't touch me. I'm like, oh, you mad at me? Me, me. You know, just play around with her a little bit and shut up, Jayhawk. You know, that's what you do. Like, w- when chicks like give you attitude like that, especially if you're just dating, like, if you have a hot headed woman, like, I wouldn't date those chicks, but like, just make it a joke. Like, oh, you mad at me? Oh, what made you mad? Did I make you mad? What's your matter, baby? You know what I mean? Shut up, Jayhawk. What do you want? Me too, Racket Club. Trust me. Do these chicks come and watch your morning stream? Well, I'm going to stop advertising my cryptocurrency channel on my on my um, Instagram. I think that's probably good. I think I'm going to take it out because I just think that it's not a... It's probably not good because I don't want them to find this stream, you know. But if they do, I, I don't care. I don't give a shit. More fish in the sea. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Jock's trolling. Motherfucker typing hella slow, so I don't know what he's what he's saying or what he's doing. So, if you smash illegal immigrant, is that <laughs> no, not at, not at all. That's the act is not illegal. You know what I mean? So, all right, motherfuckers, I'm out of here. Yeah, hella fake eyelashes. All right, guys, I'm out. Bye. Y'all have a good night. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you tomorrow at eight. And uh, ter- guys, I, I don't know if you guys know, bro, but um, Do Kwan, Do Kwan is getting in trouble by the SEC. He's fucked. Criminal charges, right? It's going to be a hot, spicy morning. All right, guys, have a good one. Peace.